A man is being held without bail after a breakthrough in a months long investigation into the alleged murder of a jogger. Ch Chanel Lewis was arranged in a New York court yesterday. He is charged with second degree murder in a connection with the death of Karina Petrano. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network, CBSN, shows how DNA and an old tip help police find the suspect. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Investigators went to question Chanel Lewis last Thursday on the six-month anniversary of Karina Petrano's death. He now faces a possible sentence of 25 years to life in prison. Chanel, why did you do it? Why did you kill her? Chanel Lewis was visibly stunned as he was led to court Sunday. Police say evidence links him to the murder of 30-year-old Karina Vetrano. Over 250 leads were received from the public and over 1,700 investigation, investigative reports were prepared. On August 2nd, Vetrano went for a jog near her home in Queens, New York. This video obtained by Crime Watch Daily shows a 30-year-old running on the street moments before she was killed. Vetrano's father, Philip, found her body along their normal jogging route, face down in a marsh. We've been in a state of shock for six months. It had to be a random, wrong place at the wrong time. You know, she was unlucky that day. At one point, it seemed the case had gone cold. She had the DNA in her, under her nails. She had touched DNA on her, on her back, and there was more DNA on the cell phone. Then police caught a break. A 911 call placed 20-year-old Chanel Lewis in the area of the murder months earlier. Though he had no criminal history, police interviewed him. He went to his house. He freely gave a buckle swab of his DNA to us. Lewis was interviewed by detectives and made detailed incriminating statements and admissions. Police say the DNA was a match and that Lewis confessed. On Sunday, Vetrano's parents encountered him for the first time when he was arraigned. He's a demon. He's a demon. Chanel's father, Richard, was shocked by his son's arrest. He's a great guy, and he's not the person who would have done what they, they say. Petrano's parents say that a more extensive DNA search called familial testing could have solved the case quicker. The process searches a large DNA database of crimes committed, looking for likely relatives of an assailant. Critics say it is an invasion of privacy. A state commission in New York is set to meet later this month to discuss whether or not familial DNA testing should have been permitted. I feel so much for the parents that had to come face to face with the man they believe murdered their daughter that way. It's a heartbreaking story. Good police yeah. work, though. Yeah, yeah. they did incredible police work. The NYPD. Yeah. Bravo to them for yeah. this. Thank you, Vlad.